Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio. Thank you for joining me today. We're gonna to show you very, very quickly how to add or how to change an IP address on a Windows 10 PC. Let's check that out right now. So by default, your Windows 10 computer generally gets an IP address on its own. Now, of course, an IP address is essential for a computer to be able to communicate with other computers, with other devices, with the internet, on a network. An IP address is essential. Unless it has an IP address, it can't communicate with other devices. So normally, there's some sort of a router, there's some sort of a device on a network, whether that be at home, in a workplace, that is giving IP addresses to a whole bunch of devices. This is called a dynamic IP address. This is an IP address that is allocated to a computer and after a certain amount of time, it then will go and allocate a different IP address to that computer, to your computer. So these dynamic IPs will change and they will change often depending on a number of rules that have been set up on some sort of a server or a router or something that is doing this process. You can also go and set up a static IP. So this is an IP address that you go into your computer and set it manually so that it never ever changes. So we're gonna be showing you how to do that today. We're now gonna cross over to my computer and show you how to set up a static IP on your computer. All right, so we've logged in. Now, there's a couple of ways to find what an IP address is on a Windows computer. The first is a simple way to just go into the Start menu, or you can just type it right in here into the search. Type in CMD and enter. You open up this thing called the Command Prompt, and then you type in a simple command into this Command Prompt, IPCONFIG, which is IP config and press enter. And then you'll see that your IP address is listed right there as 172.16.1.199. So that is the IP address that is assigned. Now at the moment we can't tell from here if it's um, a static IP or a dynamic IP. So a static one that we've set or a dynamic one that will change automatically. So what we do from here is we now go into the network settings on our uh, on our computer. Now you can do this from going this area right here. Now we're connected here to a ethernet, so physically connect, connected with a cable, but whether you're on a cable or whether you're on Wi-Fi doesn't make any difference. You're just gonna select here and then you're gonna select network settings, all right? And you pull this option up here. You can also just go into here and in the search type in network and you can open up the network and sharing center. So either of these two options are the same. And you see that it says change adapter options and change adapter settings. Essentially it takes you to the same place, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and open up uh, change adapter options. Now here is your network card. So this is the ethernet. This is the physical um, ethernet port on your computer with a blue or any other color network cable running into it. You could also have a Wi-Fi one. Essentially the one that you want is the one that is connected, the one that is active. And you're gonna right click on that particular option on that network itself and select properties. And you're gonna find this option, internet protocol version four, okay? So you're gonna double click on that or click on properties. And right in here, this is where you actually can see whether the IP address is uh, assigned automatically or whether if it's using the following IP address. So obtain automatically means that it's gonna go and search for an IP. There's some sort of a DHCP service or something out on a network um, giving IP addresses, a dynamic IP onto a network. Of course, that is gonna be assigned automatically, but if you wanna go and set a static IP, an IP that never changes, then you select use the following IP address. So in here, you're gonna put in the IP address. And in our case, we're gonna do it in the 172 range. So 172.16.1.211. Our subnet mask, generally you're gonna find that it's gonna be 255.255.255.0. Your default gateway is going to be your router. Generally, it's gonna be your router. So you're gonna put that router IP address. Now what you're gonna to need to ensure is that your router or your gateway's IP is in the same range as your um, IP address. Okay, so it's gonna be 172.16.1 and this could be uh, .1 for example right there. 
We can then also assign a DNS, a preferred or an alternate DNS. We're just going to put an IP address here of 8.8.8.8, .8 which is um, the DNS for Google. All right, but you can put in a DNS server in there if it's a DNS from your service provider, for example. All right, or you know, you may have to work with somebody else to sort of understand what DNS IP you need to set in there. And then we select OK and OK. Now that is going to set that IP address onto that computer. And then that should be set and the IP address is now set. Now you can also find out where your IP is by double clicking onto it. You've got some ethernet status, you can select details and you've also got your IP address listed right over here as 172.16.1.211. Okay, so that is the one that we just set right there. And you'll see that all the other information is also listed. All right, so that's on our Windows 10 machine. So that was how to find what your IP address is on your computer and also how to set up a static IP address on your computer. But that's it. Thank you so much for spending the time. Please do like, comment, subscribe, click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And do also check out some of my other videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.